Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be looking at a brand new ransomware called FileSpider, which has been attacking a lot of Eastern European nations lately. As for the attack vector, this one is the traditional kind of office-based ransomware, so it uses macros to infiltrate your system. SDK here has a great breakdown of this. Initially, there is an obfuscated macro inside your Word document. Decoding that gives us this PowerShell script, which I believe downloads a JS file from here. And then it runs the encryption part with certain arguments. So as you can see, this is the part where it actually does the malicious payload delivery. So it starts a process with the directory added with enc.exe, enc for encryption. And it starts with the argument spider ktn 100 and uh, after that, I guess the encryption begins. And once it's finished, you will be greeted with your ransom note. Now we do have a virtual test system in which we have Microsoft Office installed, so we'll see how the infection exactly takes place. I believe this also affects shared folders, so I have set up a nice uh, network drive with some data on it, so we'll see what happens to that. Now let's go ahead and run, or should I say open, our Office document. Loads up in Microsoft Word, which is fine. It seems by default Microsoft does disable macros. However, if we enable it to edit the document or whatever, it just closes. If we take a look at Task Manager, wow, that doesn't open either. That's really interesting. So now we wait, and as you can see, our documents are already encrypted. So are our pictures. And so is all the data in our shared folder. If we open this web page, it says how to decrypt files. It actually sends us a video, so that's really nice. Malware developers seem to be getting better and better at interfacing with their victims, or as they would like to call it, customers. So this basically demonstrates how you can, I guess, decrypt your files after paying. I'm not going to watch the video. Last thing I want is a copyright claim by ransomware creators. <laughs> So as you can see, it gives you the email address here, filespider at protonmail.ch, and um, here's your ransom message. This overlay is kind of annoying. Um, it does give you your ID code, decryptor, and um, once you pay, you get your decryption key. So watch out for this kind of stuff. Don't enable macros unless you're absolutely sure that the document you're viewing is authentic. And just if you get these kind of email extensions, just don't open them. Of course, it's always great to have a proper security solution and backup so you don't have to worry either way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.